Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving a Turkish math Olympiad equation in which we are given that x squared minus 5x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 13 equals 0. And we want to find a number of the solutions of this equation. Now before we go on and solve this for x, please consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos. And hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So the first thing that we might be able to notice is the fact that 13 is the constant term of our equation. Now, we all know that 13 is the lucky number. So the reason this is the lucky number here is because we can replace it with 4 plus 9. The interesting thing about 4 and 9 is that both of them are perfect squares. So this gives me the idea that maybe they are parts of some perfect square expression that we might be able to find in order to solve our equation. So maybe we need to use the completing square strategy to solve our equation. And actually, that's exactly the case. We need to complete the square in order to solve this. So first of all, let's go ahead and rewrite our equation. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 4 times square root of x plus 4 plus 9 equals 0. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these two terms. Now, they might be familiar to you because we all know that a squared minus 4a plus 4 is a perfect square, which is equal to the quantity a minus 2 all squared. Now, notice that these two terms are in the form of these two terms. So in order to complete the square, we need to add this a square. Now, since a here is the square root of x, a squared must be x. So we need to add x in order to complete the square. But instead of doing that, I'm going to break this negative 5x into negative 6x and x in order to have an x to complete the square. So I will have x squared minus 6x plus x minus 4 times square root of x plus 4 plus 9 equals 0. Now, we can go ahead and replace these three terms with the quantity square root of x minus 2 all squared. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus the quantity square root of x minus 2 all squared. And this equals 0. Now let's go ahead and talk about these three terms. So obviously we can replace them with x squared minus 2 times x times 3 and then plus 3 squared. So that means that they are in the form of a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared, which means that this expression is a perfect square, which can be replaced with the quantity x minus 3 all squared. So our equation is this expression plus the quantity root x minus 2 all squared equals 0. So we have the sum of two perfect squares and the sum is equal to 0. And we know that any perfect square such as these is greater than or equal to 0. So we have the sum of two non-negative numbers and the sum is equal to 0. So that means that both of these two expressions have to be equal to 0 because Otherwise, if they were positive, the sum would have been positive as well. So the quantity x minus 3 all squared has to equal to 0, and the quantity root x minus 2 all squared has to equal to 0. Now, from the first one, I will get x equals 3, and from the second one, I will have the square root of x equals 2, which gives me x equals 4. So you might say that we have two solutions for our equation, but the thing is, once I replace x with 3 or 4, we will see that none of them will satisfy our equation. So we know that the original equation is x squared minus 5x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 13 equals 0. So let's go ahead and replace x with 3. So if you do that, we will have 9 minus 15 minus 4 times the square root of 3 plus 13, which equals 7 minus 4 times the square root of 3, which is not equal to 0. 
So that means that x equals 3 does not satisfy our equation. And the same thing goes for x equals 4. Because once we replace x with 4, we will have 16 minus 20 minus 8 plus 13, which equals 1 which is not equal to zero, so x equals four does not satisfy our equation. So that means that we don't have any solution, and the reason is that uh, we don't have two separate scenarios. We only have one scenario in which this equation has to occur at the same time that this equation occurs. So that means that x has to equal to three, and at the same time, x has to equal to four which is something completely impossible. So that means that there is no x at all that will satisfy our equation. So that means that we don't have any solution to our equation. So the number of solutions is zero. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.